Right now here at 6 o'clock with breaking news. Just days after tragedy in one part of Georgia, three students in another part have been arrested, accused of making violent threats against Hart County schools. And our Alexa Erbach has been in our Hart County all afternoon. Alexa, you're joining us now for more about what we know now, and you just spoke with some officials not too long ago. That's exactly right, Dana Justin. At this moment, in 90 minutes, the football stadium behind me here at Hart County High School was supposed to be filled with students, athletes, parents, fans for tonight's football game. However, out of caution, the school system canceled tonight's game due to online threats made over the last 48 hours. Now, it's important to mention none of those threats were specifically made for tonight's football game. However, again, out of caution, the school system wanted to ensure that everyone stayed safe and canceled tonight's game. So how did we get here? Well, happening yesterday, the first arrest, a student from Hart Academy taken into custody due to threats he made. Now, earlier today, two students were arrested, one from Hart County Middle School, another student taken into custody off campus. All three of those juveniles are being held at a youth detention center in Gainesville, Georgia. I spoke with a father who lives across the street from Hart County Middle School. He actually attended school there. He also went to Hart County High School, where we are right now, and says his father goes to school in Franklin County. Now, if you're keeping up with this, Franklin County canceled classes today due to similar threats made online. Here's what he had to say about it all. I didn't like it at all, getting a phone call at 5 o'clock this morning saying that schools were shut down because of a, de uh, a threat at multiple schools over there. And it's, I'm glad they done that and shut it down instead of letting them come in and it, something bad end up happening. But, uh, at the end of the day, I don't like none of the stuff that's going on with any of this, but, and it ain't the gun's fault, it's the people not being responsible with their guns and putting them up. The parents' responsibility to keep their guns put up. Mr. Williams also telling me that it's scary for him as a parent having to even send his kids to school, although he knows it's just a reality that as a parent he has to do. However, he really overemphasize the importance of gun safety. Now, I want to tell you a little bit more about the charges made against the student arrested yesterday from Hart Academy. We are learning, I'm going to read this to you right now, this male student was charged with, quote, felony terroristic threats and acts. Now, the nature of those specific threats, as well as the nature of the threats made today, allegedly against that these two students from Hart County made today, are unknown. Very little details about these threats. However, we are working to learn more on this and we will give you that information as soon as it comes in. For now, reporting live in Hart County, Georgia, Alexa Urbach, Fox Carolina News.